In his 62-year reign, the Emperor Hirohito, Japan's longest reigning monarch, presided over the most tumultuous era in Japan's modern history. But like most of the 123 emperors before him, he watched more than he acted. During his reign, his nation embraced militarism, conquered much of Asia, waged war on the Allied powers, suffered the world's first atomic bombing, and painfully rebuilt, rising in just four decades to become the world's most vibrant economic power. The last of the World War II leaders, Emperor Hirohito, died at the Imperial Palace in 1989. He was 87 years old. Because Japanese tradition decrees that the chrysanthemum throne may not be empty, Crown Prince Akihito, Hirohito's 55-year-old son, became Japan's 125th emperor. Crown Prince Naruhito is the eldest son of Emperor Akihito, which makes him the heir apparent to the chrysanthemum throne of Japan. Married to Masako Awada, the couple has one daughter, Eiko, Princess Toshi. Eiko's birth sparked lively debate in Japan about whether the imperial household law of 1947 should be changed from male only to allow a woman to ascend to the chrysanthemum throne. But it seems increasingly unlikely that the succession laws will be changed. Today's royal family faces the risk of their royal blood dying out. I think it's most realistic to accept an empress by extending the male line to the female line to avoid such a crisis. Pressures to produce a male heir to conform with the ancient traditions of a 1947 imperial law were blamed for Masako Awada's stress-induced form of depression. But some scholars argue that the male-only succession tradition must be changed in the 21st century. A woman emperor uh, will appear uh, after a half century, uh, but uh, under the current imperial house code, uh, only male uh, uh, loyal family uh, will be uh, appointed as emperor. Uh, but uh, if uh, we change that code, then it is quite possible. Traditionally, uh, we have a lot of female uh, emperors uh, in the history. So uh, I suppose that Japanese people uh, are quite accustomed to have a uh, woman emperor as her head. No problem. The royals cannot be in power, and they are the symbol of Japan. So I support the system of the royal family. So I agree with the idea of allowing an empress to reign. The Japanese royal family system differs from those of foreign countries. So I must say it is difficult for me to say if I agree with the idea or not. Japanese princess Kiko finally delivered a baby boy, the royal family's first male heir in 40 years in 2006. The young boy is third in line to the throne after Crown Prince Naruhito and Kiko's husband, Prince Akishino. The arrival of a new prince Emperor Arahito's first grandson diffused the succession crunch in the coming generation of the royal family, which traces its roots back some 1,500 years and satisfied the hopes of conservative Japanese who want to preserve the male-only imperial line. <laughs>